Okay guys, um, for those that have seen my previous video showing what the signs are and the symptoms for these failing or uh, for giving you problems, um, this is going to be an ohms test to uh, which you can actually carry out in your vehicle because um, all you've got to do is undo the plugs and you can do it. Uh, as you can clean this out while it's in the vehicle simply by taking the back out. But as there is oil in the fuel pump, engine oil going through the fuel pump, I think after a, a long period of time, uh, in this case about 15 years, you get a build up of oil and of course this here was very hard to get up off the bottom. That, that's the actuator for the um, fuel, uh, fuel rack. Um, and this is, as I mentioned in the previous one, I cleaned it out with, this is not a net for CRC, but that is what I used, contact cleaner, uh, and it, it um, uh, worked well, and, and this is quite free. So I would happily, although we'll see in a minute with the Ohms test, but I would be quite happy to have just taken the back off this, cleaned it, and put it back together, put the back back on, I think it would have run as good as gold. Be my opinion, I would be quite happy to do that. So, I paid for an expensive clean, although I don't regret it um, because yeah, there was other work done as well with seals, etc. But, um, yeah, it's, it was an uh, expensive, uh, as I said, an expensive clean. Okay, so to test, go, go to the test. Well, first of all, um, you set the little meter on a couple hundred ohms, and you'll see here. We have a discrepancy in the in the meter, depending on how you hold your tongue. Um, and uh, so, on here we have um, the inductors. The that's a variable one. That's on the rack, rack sensor. That's variable. That's fixed. And these two here are, um, uh, or should I say, preset. And these two here are fixed. Um, the values here. And the terminal numbers there relate to the ones same as down here, so it's not. Uh, we won't worry too much about that. Um, so I had it. The first one here is terminals are one and two. So as you can see, how do you tell where number one is? Well, number one on the actuator is a red wire. Um, so it's. Uh, so the red wire is, is here, so that's number one. These ones here, over here, are self-explanatory, and so we'll give it a go and see what happens. So the first one is number, uh, terminals one and two, so we go to terminal one, and terminal two, like that, and we find we've got a reading of about 10.5, 10.6 on here. Um, Okay, so we would hope, or we have a description, we have a value already in there because of the length of the wires, etc. Uh, next one that I'd show there is 1 and 12. Uh, 12 is over here. And once again, it's a little bit high, but we have a discrepancy in the... Uh, but, but they are just about the same. Then we go to 2 and 11, so we'll swap that one to number 11, this one to number 2, this one to number 2, different. Uh, and once again, it's sort of the same value, it reads about the same. And then we've got 11 and 12, right back to 12, 11 and 12. Things over here. And twelve is over here. And we've got about the same again as the we had before. So all those there, all those there are around about the same resistance. Uh, the next one is three and four. That's um, quite a bit higher. So three and four. A number where the wires untangled, go to number three and number 
four. Oops. Just one of one, two, and three for some reason. Need number four. And we're reading probably would be nice to set a little bit higher, but then that possibly could be the way I've got it. No, it's sitting there. The three and four is probably on the lower end once you take the discrepancy out. So we try four on thirteen. So we go from four to thirteen, which is the bottom one over here. And it's sort of the same. So it's reading about that 31, which is the bottom end of that of the scale there. Um, yeah, it could possibly, could possibly be nice if it was a bit higher, but the thing was, this was running okay when it was running. It was just, um, just had that intermittent fault, which I think was due to the, just being clogged up. Then 3 and 9, uh, which is 3 up here. And nine down here. And that's reading very high. But as I said, it was going okay. So nine and thirteen. At least it's got a resistance and not a dead. Um, it's not just. So quickly, nine and thirteen. Once again, it looks really high. Actually, I don't know where they were before. Is that how it runs? Yeah, that's better. Uh, nine and thirteen. See, it's not reading bad. It was just that one above it that um, was reading rather high. 4 and 13, 4 and 13 is going through basically the two together, um, the variable and the and the um, fixed, oh, sorry, the um, preset. Um, what does, so that's 4 and 13. Oh, so, yeah, so 3 and 9 is the next one. Three and nine. Three and nine. Is reading a little bit high, but if we took the discrepancy in the wires out, it's probably about right. Three and nine is the top end is twenty one. Take off about three, and we are down to twenty one there. Um, three and nine, nine at thirteen. Have a look. I thought we had nine, and, and that was four and thirteen. Nine and thirteen. Nine and thirteen. Once again, it's sort of the same. It's just the top end, but that's okay. Um, that'll be all right. Uh, four and nine is the next one, which is uh, there. So four and nine. Get out here on these things. Get it out of my four and nine. Um, a little bit high, a little bit on the high side, but could be the way I've got it in here too. But anyway, take a bit off, and we we're at the we we're just a bit above the top end of that one. And the last one is seven and eight, which is in thousands. So we just change the scale on here, and it's seven and eight. So we go back to eight there. I'll put the seven and see if it's easier. Seven. Make sure that on there next to it. Seven and eight. And it's reading probably a bit lower, if anything, but um, 
Because my meat is just as cheap as them anyway, and it's uh, but it's really a bit hey, it's um it's a little bit low, but sooner or later what I see when they do is speed sensor. And it goes through the um it's a fixed inductor. Um so that's it. Um personally I would be quite happy to have had that in the vehicle once I've cleaned, cleaned it up and I think it would have gone as good as gold so um, if anyone out there uh, if that's of any help to anyone a link I'll put a link in from this video to the first video that I did if you haven't already seen it and if anyone out there knows um, any better than what I've put on here because there's not no information about these on the internet please leave it in the comments and uh, if anyone tries it and has some success or failure, uh, I'd leave that in the comment, comments too, um, so that uh, other people can benefit from it. Okay, well, good luck with everyone.